Lightroom keyboard shortcuts, they cannot be changed? Yes, they can. A um, lot of forum people say, no, you can't change the shortcuts in uh, Lightroom. I had a reason to do it. This tutorial shows you how very, very simple it is to do it with a simple config file. So let's go and have a look how we do it. Okay, so the problem I had was um, my laptop and my desktop, both from Windows 10, they're both in the United Kingdom regional settings, but they have Portuguese keyboards. So that was sort of throwing Lightroom and Photoshop out a bit because it just assumed that because I'm region was UK, I have a British keyboard. So it caused a problem because if we have a look at a Portuguese keyboard, um, the open and closed square brackets are on keys eight and nine and you need the alt key to use them. Um, Square brackets are to decrease and increase brush sizes and also the spot tool um, in uh, Lightroom. And the problem is when you've got the brush selected, if you press the Alt key, which I would need to do to get to the brackets, it actually changes to the erase brush. Let me just show you that. So let's go into Lightroom. You can see a very disturbing photo of me in my Kingfisher hide. So let's select a brush and I want a smaller brush. So I would have to press Alt, but as you can see, you move that, the um, brush changes to the erase brush. And if I press eight, it actually changes the flow because the keys on a, uh, the keyboard in Lightroom, it changes the flow size of the brush, um, zero being 100%, 100%. So I couldn't do that. So I needed to move these square brackets to different keys. And I, it, I kept thinking, you know, there's no way of doing it. And everybody on the Adobe forum say there's no way of doing this, but I thought there has to be a way of doing it because there has to be other keyboards out there around the world that have this issue. Um, but of course, it doesn't fix my problem because my region is UK. So, of course, you don't have to have a keyboard problem to, to do this. You may want to move some of the shortcuts to different keys. It, it's uh, to suit your own preference. And this is the way, way to do it. So, let's get rid of Lightroom a second. Um, incidentally, um, I'll just show you these keys. These are the special characters on a Portuguese keyboard. You, in my instance, I couldn't use these to... Um, select them uh, as keyboard shortcuts, okay? Lightroom just ignores the fact that those keys exist. So even if I put them in the file I'm gonna show you, they don't work, okay? So if you have special characters on a keyboard you're using, you may find they don't work. Um, for me, I was gonna move them onto the P and the plus, which are next to each other. The issue with that is P and plus are other shortcuts in um, Lightroom, but they still continue to work. And I'll show you that in a second when, when I get to, after modifying the uh, file. Okay, so the file, I was having to dig around. So if you go into C program files, Adobe, now depending on which version of Lightroom you're on, I'm on the new version that's obviously you get Lightroom CC and now the Lightroom Classic CC, uh, which is the one we're talking about. So wherever your Lightroom is installed, you need to go in there and you'll see a resources folder. And I clicked on this and I looked at it and I thought, hang on a minute. There's loads of country codes in there. You've got German, you've got Spain, France, Italy, for instance. I thought, what, what's in these files? So first I thought I'd look in the English one. It's empty, okay, there's nothing in there. So then I looked in the German one and I noticed this thing called translated strings. So I thought, well, I'll have a look at that. It's quite a big text file. And when you open it up, you'll see most of the entries in there are actually to translate the English equivalent into this instance into German. Okay, so um, it's a sort of lookup table, if you like, for um, some of the settings within uh, Lightroom and translates it to the local language. But then I started scrolling down. I'll quickly jump to it. If you look for AG Develop, okay, in there. This is for the develop module. Okay, so these are the, the settings for develop module. And I was looking through there and I thought, oh, there's gotta be something in here. And then suddenly I came across this localized bit and I spotted this. Brush decrease, brush decrease key and brush increase key. And then further down there's one for spot. And I was like, that's telling you what key to use to decrease and increase the brush size. I thought, I wonder if I can copy these settings and put them into a um, English or US um, config file and it'll work. So I give it a go. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to run a new notepad, but you have to open it up in administrator. So the best way to do that is search notepad, right click on notepad and run as admin. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to copy these um, config sections out. The reason I opened up as admin, by the way, is you, as a, as a user, you probably haven't got the um, rights to write a new file to that resources directory. So that's why you have to open it as, as admin. So I'm going to copy these into this new notepad. Okay. 
And further down, like I said, there was, if I can find its spot. Okay. So this is, don't forget, it's just an example of what I needed to do. If you need to change another um, keyboard shortcut, simply find it in this file and do the same as me. Um, now, what I've noticed is each config has the key to say which key it is and which key it is when you press the shift key, because obviously it's different um, world round. So I was going to use the P, so it's P, and shifted is obviously capital P, and next to the um, P on a Portuguese keyboard is the plus sign, and shifted is actually the star sign. And then below for the spot, you'll notice it's exactly the same because it's the same shortcuts in, um, in Lightroom. So I'm going to do the same, just change it to P and capital P and plus and star. Okay, now these are the only settings I want to change. So I don't need the rest of all that um, language translations and all the other shortcuts because I don't care about them. It will work with just the portions you need. So now we need to save this. And like I said, why I opened it up as admin, notepad as admin is because you need it for the rights to save to the right directory. So I'm going to save that. It's already on there, but I'll go through again. And just to remind you, it's C, program files, Adobe, wherever Lightroom is installed, and then resources. And now we need to write it into the English folder. Okay, so this is obviously the same for English GB and English US. It might even be the same for English um, Australia or any other English speaking um, region. So have a play around if you're in a different region and I'm sure you'll get it to work. However, the name has got to be perfect now. So it's the same file name as, as it was in the German one. It's translated strings underscore LR underscore and now you need to get this right. So it's EN for English underscore and it has to be us now i'm putting capitals because this is how it's is written um by default um it doesn't really matter with capitals or not in in windows but i'm doing that no it has to be us i tried it en underscore en and i tried en underscore uk they didn't work but en underscore us does and it has to be dot txt so i've saved that file um let's go back into lightroom and see what happens now i try and um use a brush okay so i fired up lightroom Here's my scary photo again. Okay, so now I'm going to select the brush tool. And I'm going to go over. And I'm going to press the P. And look at that, it's decreasing. And I'm going to press the plus, And look at that, it's increasing. So I have successfully changed the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, for, for this. Okay, so. Just to prove a point, if I go to the spot tool. It does exactly the same, okay, so it changes. Now, I said earlier on that I've used P and plus and that they are shortcuts within Lightroom. If I close down the brush, so I finish with the brush and now I press P, the P still works, okay? So P is flag as pick and plus is, if I remember, yeah, increase contrast. So they actually still work. So I can still increase my contrast, okay? Um, let me undo that, okay? And if I go into the brush, and do it, it's not increasing the contrast as well as changing the brush size, okay? So it's not doing both of them. So it actually works and it works fine uh, if you use the same key or you can use different keys. So um, that's pretty much how it works. Now, if you wanted to revert, the simple thing to do is if I quit Lightroom, there was that file. If I go into the, where it's stored, so it's going to be resources, en, there's my new file. If I delete it, Okay, I need admin rights to delete it, that's fine. And I'll go back into Lightroom. You will see that, once it goes in, you will see that I use my brush tool and my P and my plus are not working. But what it does do, it's still increasing the contrast and using a flag in as pick. So it, it still reverts back to what it was. So it's a bit sort of like it's photo editing, it's non-destructive. If you find it's not working or you don't want it, just delete that file and uh, it'll, it'll go back to normal. So that's it. So there is a way of changing the shortcuts in Lightroom. Hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to have a look at the blog. You can uh, click on the, the link at the top. That'll take you to the website where you have got written um, instructions on how to do this as well. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon.
two, one. Hi, so Lightroom shortcuts. Plenty of people say that you cannot change the keyboard shortcuts in Lightroom. Yes, you can, and I found a way of doing it. So this quick little video shows you how to do them and why particularly I needed to do. Three, two, one. Hi, Lightroom shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Three, two, one. Keyboard shortcuts. Lightroom keyboard shortcuts. Many people say they cannot be changed, okay? I had a reason to need to change them, so I was determined to find a way to do it, and I found it. So watch this quick little tutorial. It'll show you how you can reassign the sheet, the keyboard shortcuts. Ah, Three, two, one. Lightroom keyboard shortcuts. They cannot be changed, so most people say. Yes, they can, and I found a way of doing it. So this quick little tutorial um, shows you how to do it, and particularly why I needed to do it. Um, three, 